My name's David Troy, and this is the David Troy Salon. I just wanted to take a second here to change things up a little bit for you. Let me explain. So this is my office. I get here early. And, and, I, and I take in a lot of YouTube, you know, I love the concept, I love the idea of it, but I don't get a lot of it. There's people on there that I'm just like, what are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? And why am I watching this? So it got me thinking, what's important to this channel? Or what's important to you guys? Or, or what would make you, what would make me stand out more than anything? So. I thought I'd put this little video together and um, just, to, just to change things up. So if this is the first time you've come across one of my videos, I'm a hairdresser. I've been cutting hair for over 20 years. Now I don't claim to know everything about the industry. I've cut hair all over the world. I, I feel like I've got a good knowledge or a good background of, of the industry. So who am I? So if you want to know who I am. I, I'm an owner of a salon. I've been on YouTube for about two years now. I have my own shampoo line, or I, not line, I have shampoo and conditioner. I'm coming out with a serum which I'm super excited about. I'm super excited about. I'm super excited. So as I said, my serum is coming out very soon. I'm super excited about this. Um, within the next month or so, I should have it in my hands and we should have it on the shelves. So you can also go online to davidtroy.com and you can get anywhere in the, pick up the Dave Troy shampoo and conditioner and I ship it anywhere in the US, unfortunately it's not international. It's hard to compete with the billion dollar companies, you know what I mean? It's hard to compete with the YouTubers that have got five million subscribers or the YouTubers that have got, you know, half a million. With me just being just such a small channel compared to the rest of the YouTube industry, I mean a thousand subscribers for me is amazing for someone else it's like, you know, hardly anything. If you want to read a little bit about my history, go to davidtroy.com and on the website there's a little bio you can read about me and where I've cut hair and who I am and what I do in the industry. As a salon owner, I've got eight people in the salon. It's hard to get eight people to listen to me, let alone have a thousand subscribers outside of these four walls. So I love that. I love the idea of what YouTube is and what it can do. One of the reasons I wanted to do this video is because why would you watch someone you don't even know? You know, what do you know about me? Uh, probably nothing apart from I cut hair, unless you're a client and watching this or unless you know me personally or you're my mum and dad, which is originally the only two people that were watching it maybe. Now that my channel's got over a thousand people on it, I'm super excited about that. I'm super excited about that. I'm super excited about that. And it got me thinking, you know, I saw an interview with a hairdresser that's an educator and he mentioned that he was traveling and going to train salons and you know maybe have five people in the salon started YouTube and his video got over a hundred views and you know that's a hundred people looking at what you're doing which is amazing which is awesome that you can reach out to that many people my biggest video or my most popular video has got like over 20,000 views and that's huge for me but that's 20,000 people that have seen me cut hair which is just incredible and I you know when you think about that it's pretty freaking cool. We've just reached a thousand subscribers and I love that it's a thousand. But I know that's so little for so many. But the fact that I've got a thousand people that have subscribed, to me that's amazing and I love it. So thank you. Thank you for subscribing. So one thing I've realized, you've got to make it interesting. It's you've got to be yourself on YouTube, right? You've got to be somewhat exciting to watch Otherwise, you're just going to fast forward through all the bullshit. But then what's really, really interesting to me on YouTube, the ones that are successful, I go back and actually watch their early videos and how they've evolved and how they've changed their style and how they've turned into who they've turned into. I find it really fascinating because some of their earlier videos are, uh, you know, just like mine. Um, we, you have to learn. It's a learning experience like anything. But their earlier videos are completely different to how they are now which is, you know, people just, they have to learn the craft, like anything. And as I said, I've only been on here two years, so I've got a lot, lot to learn. And I understand that. 
but I'm hoping this channel does grow into something exciting. You should never knock anyone for trying to do this because go and do it before you say anything because it's really really hard to, to be yourself on camera or to, to, to try and be what people are looking for or interesting or you know everyone thinks that they can do it better obviously but until you do it forget it you know what I mean but anyways I do watch this one youtuber and I'm not a big fan of him but he did something the other day that really grabbed my attention. He's only been hairdressing, I think, for five years. Or well, the video I saw was an earlier one where he was five years in the industry. And he went back and took the state board exam online or, or a test to see if he could pass it. I found that really fascinating. So what I'm challenging other hairdressers to do, I've been in the industry for over 20 years. I'm going to go back and I'm going to take the test. Here here in Texas, the it's a little bit different. In Australia, we go to school for four years. It's an approaching program. It takes you four years to become a hairdresser. Here, I'm not sure. I think it's about 12 months or um, a little bit short, longer or shorter. Moved here from Australia, I had to sit your state board exam to cut hair. The first time I actually failed it. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I was, at that point, I'd been cutting hair forever, but I couldn't believe I failed it. So I didn't even study for it. So he went back on and took the state board. So I'm going to do that in an upcoming video. And I asked, I don't care if you've been in this industry for 30 years. I don't care if you've been in it for two months. I think it's really interesting to go back and see if you could pass it. In an upcoming video, on my next video, I'm going to take the test um, and we'll see if I can pass it. I probably can't, won't. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit nervous about it because I'm probably going to fail it. That doesn't make you a bad hairdresser. It's just an interesting, interesting thing to, to check out. So anyways, uh, that will be in the upcoming video next week. I'm gonna try and have that out and we'll see if I can pass the state board. Hey, we'll see if other hairdressers are willing to take the challenge and see if they can pass it after 30 years or 20 years in the industry. It's interesting, right? So listen, this is a little bit about me and try to get you guys to understand why would I even watch this guy or, or who is he or what do I want to watch him because I watch a lot of YouTubers and, and I don't really know much about them but I try to, I try to go back and watch all their other videos which I always find exciting or interesting it's just, you know, the, you know, the, you know, the way, <laughs> the way my brain works I guess. Listen, I appreciate you watching this video. In all my videos, I try to keep them pretty short because people don't want to sit there and watch 20 minutes of someone rambling on. Actually, if you'd like to go check out some of my other videos, they're all based around hairdressing because I'm a hairdresser. If you could leave a comment, that'd be much appreciated. Hit that like button. But hopefully, if you go back and watch my earlier videos, my videos are getting better. As I said, two years in, I know I've got a long way to go, but I appreciate the fact that you've just even clicked on this for some reason and wondering who the hell I am. I will catch you next week and hopefully I can pass this test because even if I don't, I'm not, you know, freaking out about it because it's not going to, as I say, it doesn't make you a bad or a good hairdresser. It's just most of the skills you learn are in the, in the salon anyway. So um, I'm just curious if I can pass it. I'm not joking. I'm a little bit nervous about it, but come back next week and check it out and we'll see how we go.